Absolute Batman is finally here. I just got back my LCS with my new comic book day pickups. Let's talk about what I got. You guys already know my pick of the week. Let me know what yours is in the comments. But I'm just really excited to get into this Absolute Universe. Uh, super excited about it. Close second for pick of the week had to be the Ultimates issue number five. This series off to a great start. I thought that issue number four might have been the best single issue of the year. Definitely hop on if you haven't already. The rest of the DC books this week, we have Action Comics number 1070. This is the start of Mark Wade's 12 issue weekly arc on the Action Comics title. Excited about that. We have Philip Kennedy Johnson joining the Batman and Robin title with issue number 14. Excited to see what he can bring to the uh, Batman series. We have Green Lantern Civil Court special issue number one. I believe this is kind of like an annual type of thing, uh, but all the Green Lantern stuff has been super solid for a really long time now. So yeah, excited about that. DC Elseworld stuff, we have Batman, Gotham by Gaslight, Kryptonian Age, issue number five. I'm just excited that the Elseworld stuff is back. A lot of fun with this series here. The uh, Moving on to the indies of the week, we have two from Boom Studios. We have Minor Arcana, issue number two from Jeff Lemire. You guys I know I'm obsessed with Jeff Lemire. Issue number one was great. Excited to get back into this world there. And then also from Boom Studios, like I said, we have Crocodile Black, issue number five. Great crime and noir series from Philip Kennedy Johnson. Uh, this guy's pretty busy. It looks like he's writing a lot of different things. Great artwork from Sam too. Uh, really awesome stuff there. From Dark Horse Comics, we have one issue today. We have Duck and Cover, issue number two. This is from Scott Snyder and Raphael Albuquerque. Uh, interesting concept in the first issue. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, it didn't blow me away by any means, but thought it was interesting enough. From the Energon Universe, we have Scarlet, issue number five, uh, from Skybound Image. Probably the best miniseries out of the Energon Universe so far. Awesome stuff there. We also have Transformers, issue number 13, part of the Energon Universe. Looks like we're getting a new artist jumping on. We have Jason Howard jumping on. Um, interesting stuff there. We have uh, from Image Comics, we have Chip Zdarsky's Public Domain issue number nine. I love this series, man. Uh, really funny writing from Chip Zdarsky and really great just slice of life comic book. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out. And then last single issue for today, we have uh, Ghost Machines, Geiger issue number seven. I believe this starts a new arc. You guys know I'm obsessed with Geiger. He's my dude. That's what I got for new comic book day, October 9th. As always, let me know what you guys got in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and read more comics.